creativity that there is always mm -hmm. in the communities that I see on the estates in my constituency. And then the hands are like the kind of helping hands that people need from outside of that community. What do they do that other organisations maybe don't or that you haven't seen elsewhere that's different here? It's the thing where it's not, it's not really forced, it's not really strict, it's like you can be your own character here. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you were to be late, they wouldn't, they wouldn't like just snap at you, just be like, oh, next time try to get on time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of buses are kind of... The thing where people in other areas don't know this area exists and it's just like a local space for kids. It's worth to be expanded now as in a brand or like, just a place for that more kids will come up mm -hmm. the streets and do your active stuff. Yeah. And my last question uh, is um, if you could partner Roadworks Media with any organisation in the world, who would it be? I would say Nike. Uh -huh. I would yeah. say Nike because they have a big brand yeah. and they have a big influence on like young kids and young people my age. Yeah. So it will actually help a lot if they work for that brand with Nike. Yes, yeah, we'll make that pitch. <laughs> Even though they might feel like it's a terrible place to be living in, but I still believe that despite that, those feelings, you can you can examine those and express yeah. it through art. So it's been absolutely brilliant to be here this morning at Roadworks Media to see the way that Quince and his team work creatively with young people, providing access to opportunity, providing the way for young people to be able to learn skills and find their passion and really to sort of celebrate the creativity that is in every young person um, in our communities. Um, it's been really great to see this work. I'd love to see more of this kind of work happening everywhere in the country that needs it.